Chi, Miss Gloria. Hi everyone. So today we'll be talking about general operational tips for tier one events. Um, we'll be answering frequently asked questions by our vendors based on this event. So the first question I have here is for you, Buchi. Okay, it says. How do I get support when I have inquiries? Please know that you can get support via our WhatsApp line, Instagram DMs, TikTok, Facebook account. Please do where to reach out to us via any of these platforms. And you can also raise a claim via the um, vendor center on Seller Center platform. Okay, thank you, Vichy. You're welcome. So we have another question. Over to you, Gloria. So how do I raise a claim? If you're a seller center vendor, you would find the raise a claim tab on the top left corner. While if you're a vendor center vendor, you would find the raise a claim tab on the bottom right corner. All right, thank you, Gloria. So I'll be taking the next question, and this one is based on order fulfillment. The question says, what are the timelines for order fulfillment? Order fulfillment entails moving your order from pending to ready to ship, then ship. Timeline is 48 hours, Monday to Saturday. So here comes another question, why do I need to drop off my item on time, Gloria? Okay, so I mean this is a tier 1 event, everyone is ordering things from Jumia, customers are expecting to get their items within 24 hours. So dropping off your items on time will give you higher delivery success rate. It would also ensure that you are paid in time. And also, please know that all vendors are expected to drop their items off at the all before 3 p.m. on weekdays. Alright, thank you. So still based on drop-off, which hubs will be accepting large items or large packages? Okay, so we have five hubs. We have the Agege hub, we have the um, Jankara, we have Trade Fair, we have Sura, and we also have Alaba. So you can drop off your large items at any of these hubs mentioned. Okay, so vendors need to know when they will get their money during this event. So when exactly are they going to, you know, so please note that payment is being made every Tuesday for all vendors. We have a question. I have a duplicate order on my account. What do I do? For duplicate orders and any other issues as regards order confirmation, we advise you chat with us via WhatsApp. It ensures the customer is contacted for confirmation or the order is cancelled as non out of stock. So if in a situation whereby a vendor drops off their item at the drop-off station and then it is not showing shipped, on their end maybe their vendor center or their seller center account what do they do in such cases so in such cases our warehouse always have an adequate manpower to process um, all our tier event orders on time however if your order is not being processed by 7 a.m the following morning please kindly go to your seller center or vendor center to raise a claim and trust me within 24 hours you're going to get a response okay thank you very much you're welcome vendor came and was asking a question why do the price of my item change so in such scenarios what can you tell this vendor there are two sides to this the first case is a scenario whereby you have submitted deals these deals have been approved a day before the event starts your prices will change to the approved promotional price the second scenario is the case whereby we have selected your items or your product to participate in this campaign and then would reduce the price after which during your weekly payout jumia would compensate you for the subsidy they gave to your products wow that's interesting i'm wondering if prices can be adjusted while the event is ongoing Sure, you can adjust the price. However, you can only reduce the price during the tier one event or any events um, that that is ongoing. What do I do when I have an API error during my orders? During order processing, if you have API errors, kindly reach out to this WhatsApp number for swift resolution. I'd like to know what vendors can do if while they are fulfilling their orders, the barcodes are unable to scan. I advise them to reprint their invoice, then they should reschedule for the next morning. So if however you reschedule for the next morning and you are still having the same error messages or you are still not able to print out your barcode, please kindly raise a claim. You can raise a claim via the seller center or the vendor center. Please ensure to do that. Oh, that's very insightful. Thank you, Bichi. Here we have a question which say, what do I do when my item fails QC? Okay, so if your items fail QC, it simply means that you brought the wrong item. Damaged or defective pack or even an expired product. So just bring the right one. So we are well aware that there is a metric system used to 
judge how good or how bad sellers are performing on Jumian. What are the things that affect the seller score? Okay, so we have three major things that affect the seller score. One, we have the um, return rates, we have cancellation, and we also have customers rating and review. If you put the wrong description, customers place an order and they see that, oh, this particular item is not as seen on the platform, that was what was delivered to me. They are going to give you a bad rating, they are going to give you a bad review, and it affects your seller score. Then if your cancellation rate is much, probably you know that, oh, you don't have much quality and quantity on this particular product, and you still left it available, instead of it to update it as out of stock, and customer places an order, definitely there's no way to fulfill that order, it's going to get hands with it affects seller score. When we are talking about return rates, for instance, what I ordered versus what I got, if you place an order for a phone, and a counterfeit item delivered to you, as a customer, <laughs> trust me, it's going to reduce your seller score because the customer will have no choice than to return the item. So please, let's take note of those three things, return rates, um, cancellation, and customer review. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Gloria, please can you tell us the expected timeline for return? Okay, it will be processed as usual and then it will be dropped at the hub of origin. However, if you fail to pick up your item after seven days, these items will be rerouted to the AKK hub. Wow. Okay, so I was done. Um, this question says, I have both Jumia Express and non-Jumia Express stock. Will I get a notification for Jumia Express orders on Seller Center? Yes, you will. But you don't need to take any actions, however, on your store. You can see ship order for non Jumia Express and Jumia Express order. So, Gloria, um, we have a question. I'm out of packaging materials. How do I repurchase? All you need to do is head over to the Jumia website, search for Jumia packaging materials, scroll through to look for your desired packaging materials, add to cart. We'd like to say a big thank you to every single one of our vendors. We hope you find this video extremely useful and insightful. Remember to follow and engage us on our social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook, even YouTube at Jumia University NG. Have a great day. Bye.